Oh, it feels so good to be back. Does it ever, baby? Yeah, it does. It's been a while. We're back, baby. New year, new me. I'm gonna win this year. <laughs> what is with the getup? This guy is getting ready to go to Florida. You're gonna miss these jibs. I'll tell you what I'm not gonna miss. That hat. Take it off. Toss the hat. Hattie. Here it is. Today's quiz is on. World Juniors. No. I thought it was on the World Juniors. You know, everyone just kept asking, so I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just give them fake you answers? You fed us lies. I fed you lies. You're a liar. What? So what's the topic? Today's quiz, it's on contracts. Oh, what's that? Facts? Contract max. Contracts. Some teams have good contracts. Yeah. Some teams have a history of bad contracts. New York Islanders. <laughs> so how do you think you're going to do? How well do you know contracts? Um, I didn't do great in math at school. Well, you're um, not the agent. You don't have to crunch numbers here. I know, here. but like numbers and stuff like that. I'm not on like hockey reference and like cap friendly. I'm going to whip ass. I'm defending a title here. I don't know if I'm going to do well if it's on good contracts because everyone knows the bad contracts. There's a lot of dumb NHL general managers and uh, they give out a lot of money to a lot of people who don't deserve it. I'm Elon Luigi. Okay, you know the rules. Ten questions. Bonus round in the middle. If you get that bonus round right, you get a free pass. Let's get this started. Are you ready? I'm ready to start the quiz. I don't need to give you an elaborate yell and break your ears. Let's go. <laughs> are you going on a cruise or are you just going to Florida? I'm just going to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> then what I'm, is with this nautical I'm, theme? I will probably not be on a boat. Let's get this started. 2019, new year, new quiz. Let's go. Question number one. Who is currently earning the highest annual salary in the NHL by cap hit? By cap hit? AAV? Um, it's our boy C Money. I don't know who that is. Uh, I believe it's a young man by the name of Connor McDavid. It's gotta be Connor McDavid. It's our boy, Connor McDavid, best player in the world. Buddy, C Money, Connor Mack. That's not his name, but that's correct. Yeah, Connor McDavid, C Money, man. 12.5 mil. That's gonna change next year, though. Oh, 100%. All these contracts are like mind blowing. Rantanen's gonna get paid. Matthews is gonna get They're paid. They're all gonna get paid. Marner's gonna get paid. He's really good, so he makes a lot of money. And uh, it sucks because now he's probably stuck in Edmonton forever. I'm not saying anything about the Edmonton, the city of Edmonton. I love your guys' mall. Is that the <laughs> only thing people know? It's a mall. Question number two Who is currently earning? the highest annual salary in the NHL in 2018, 2019. So now we're including bonuses. They're just getting paid the most. If we're gonna go on about contracts, you should at least know contracts from around now. Yeah, that's fair. It should be someone that was recently signed to a new contract this season. This contract is one I think everybody knows because everybody was sick of hearing about it, including myself. It's a leaf, okay? You just signed this past summer. I'm wearing the colors. I bleed the colors. Johnny T. Pajama boy. <laughs> Pajama boy. John Tavares. John Tavares, let's move on to the next question. Uh, not so fast. How much is he making? So John is earning $15.9 million this year. You got that fat signing bonus. Man, for 15.9, I'd even play for the Leafs. You heard it here. Luke is a sellout. No, I'm not a sellout. Yeah, yep. I guess that's the definition of a sellout. That is the literal <laughs> definition of a sellout, Luca. Must be nice. Must be nice, Johnny. That could buy you at least 76 homes in Winnipeg. You did the research, eh? Yeah, I did the research. What part of Winnipeg are we talking here, big guy? I don't know. Oh, somewhere off Portage in Maine. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> good was that good enough for you? Next question. Yeah. Question three. Since 2000, two players hold the record for longest contract given. Who are the two and how long did they sign for? Well, I know one of them is a goaltender, and he happened to play for the New York Islanders. Don't know what the thought process was on this one. It's Rick DiPietro. DiPietro? His name is Rick DiPietro. That's one. The other person I don't know, I don't think. Oh, it was Kovalchuk. Is it Kovalchuk? Now I need the amount of years. It's 15 years, and the two people would be Ilya Kovalchuk and Rick DiPietro. 15? 15 years. I'm gonna guess Kovalchuk, because that's the only one I can think of other than DiPietro. That is correct. Hey, right, cool. I was a little worried. How many years? 15. You got it. Right. Of course I did. Of course I did. Again, Islanders fans, sorry. How do you give a goalie 15-year contract? <laughs> Just absurd. Di Pietro? Like, how many games did he play after he signed that deal? How are you still paying that goalie? I would have signed it though. 
15 years? He was probably, he couldn't even believe he got 15 years from them. He's just like, and they're dumb. Yeah, they're dumb. <laughs> Guy <laughs> finessed the Islanders. Yo, give that man an award. They should make a Rick DiPietro award for the biggest <laughs> finesse. And every every season, a player <laughs> should get that award. The best part is he wasn't done. They weren't done giving him money <laughs> or done. giving him jobs. I think he's an analyst for the Islanders now, so they're paying him more ways than one. He has a check on a check. Honestly, I'm not kidding. Respect. Mad respect. <laughs> <laughs> That's so boss. You're, you're lying if you're saying you wouldn't want yeah. that setup. Man, Rick DiPietro, you're my idol, man. So you're on a question four. Yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're making it. But these are true or false. You really love these, eh? This is what I got out on the last time. Why are you bringing this back? True or false? Speaking of DiPietro, the Islanders will continue to pay Rick DiPietro $1.5 million a year until the year 2029. True or false. I don't know why you give me these. I, I don't understand it. I got a 50-50 shot and I, I feel more nervous about this than I do any other questions on the quiz. 2029. 20, 29. Okay, so if it's a 15-year deal. I know they're paying him for a long, long time. I just don't know if that money decreases or if that's the correct amount of money or if that's the correct year. I'm just gonna say true. False. True. I think it's true. You locking it in? God, why are you gonna ask me that? Stop it. Are you taking your mic off? Are you getting ready? No, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you f with me so much that I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's true. You're staying, Lucas. Yeah! Why would I say false to such a ridiculous question? New year, same result. <laughs> You'll bounce back, though. Next year. Or this year. It's <laughs> calling out the year. 2019's a bust. Once January comes, I will never look back. All right. Peace. Okay, moving on to question five. All right, let's do it. Which player famously said, my contract sucks when he wasn't moved at the 2013 trade deadline? Oh. Uh. Ooh, this is a good question. This is gonna bother me so much. My contract sucks. Oh, I'm going to go with Roberto Luongo. Luca. I'm out. <laughs> Bobby Lou, <laughs> the biggest beauty in the game. Roberto Luongo, of course. Uh, my contract sucks. <laughs> that's what that's what's the problem is. Bobby Lou might be the biggest beauty in all of sports. Am I right? He is funny. And that was a funny quote. You got it correct. He kind of looks like Luca too. Or Luca kind of looks like him. Just Luca's not nearly as athletic, grows worse facial hair, and looks older than Bobby Lou because he has gray hairs already. Man, that's just mean. That's a shoot off. Yeah, I love Luca. He knows that. Bonus round. Whoop. Here we go. I'm gonna get two strikes now. Bonus round. Yes. You know how it works. At the end of this question, you got 30 <laughs> seconds to answer. Here it is. Name three players who have signed a deal worth over $100 million. Alex Ovechkin. Can I name four? Do whatever you <laughs> want. Well. Ilya Kovalchuk. Crosby, Ovechkin, Kovalchuk, McDavid. Connor McDavid. Sidney Crosby. Oh, we're, we're timed. <laughs> of course oh, it is. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. Let's start it again, because I, I actually- I, I'm sorry, answer. No, no, Connor McDavid. Go. Jack Eichel. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start it again. I gotta find harder bonus round questions. Two strikes, man. I don't know. I think I just know a lot. I don't think it's necessarily that. Like, I'm hey, sure, hey. I'm sure other people are gonna lose on hey, that one. Hey, off button. <laughs> Jesse's moving on without a bonus. Dangerous territory. Very dangerous, because question six is usually kind of hard. Um, it's tradition around here to lose your strike right away. This is Let's see if it follows that. I think it's happened for me every single time I've got here, so... Question six. Back in 1978, the Edmonton Oilers celebrated Wayne Gretzky's 18th birthday by awarding him an unprecedented personal services contract. What was the length of that contract? <laughs> Sorry, I'll take that strike. Thank you no, very much. Wait. Hand it I'm over. just gonna throw out a number because obviously. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb. If it's just some stupid number, I'm gonna be mad. Nine years. That's an unprecedented number. Nine years. Ninety-nine years. I don't know. Let's go with ten years. Ten years. Unprecedented. Well, for a rookie as an eighteen-year-old, yeah, that's pretty unprecedented. It's eh, actually a pretty good point. Jesse, enjoy your early vacation. Wait, 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 wait. Jesse. <laughs> 
18 years. <laughs> That's also wrong. 99 years. That's also wrong. Enjoy your early vacation, Jesse. No! What was it, like 30? Mm, it's 21. 21 years. That would have taken him, funny enough, to 1999 with the Oilers, and he retired in 1999. Didn't happen that way. Instead, they disgraced the American and Canadian <laughs> National Anthem at Madison Square Garden just to appease to Gretzky <laughs> and piss off Brian Leach. That almost made me definitely want to go. Super weird. Honestly, screw you guys. I'm going to Florida. <laughs> Can't forget my hat. On to question seven. This question doesn't belong back here. I, I, this was a mistake. It should have been much earlier on. Okay. It's a, a, a joke. It's a walk in the park. Okay, don't say all this. Now if I get it wrong, I'm gonna be teed up like a loser. <laughs> yeah, cause that's hard. Whoa! Got Arthur, uh, what's his name? Arthur Maine? What? What's the Red Dead Redemption guy's name? Arthur Morgan. That's Arthur that. Red Dead Redemption is his name. <laughs> well, I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. <sighs> Which player I can't wait until Corwin gets this wrong. Which wait, I'm which player famously shared a picture of himself signing a one-year deal? Joe Thornton, baby. <laughs> See? Yeah, that one's way too easy, especially in the place that we work. Like we wrote ten variations of that post because it was awesome. Are you joking? It's Come a on. joke. I don't know yeah. why. Joe Thornton, baby. Uh, I, I, yeah, don't even finish that. That was like easy access to question eight. Iconic picture though. Like I don't think there's gonna be a better contract picture. And I know like some Florida Panthers prospect tried to like kind of copy it he had like a push mower and like <laughs> a little piece of grass on his front lawn and he yeah 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 it was it was funny it was really good we're moving on to question eight yeah joe you're a legend question eight everyone knows that eric lindros didn't want to play for the nordiques but what big deal did the big e reportedly reject from quebec uh, i think i know this so what do you need money here i need years and, and money. money what did you write a story on this? I don't know. Someone wrote a story on this. The Big E didn't want to play for Quebec. Could have played for Colorado after that. Would have been nice, man. Would have won some cups together. I think it's 10 years, 50 million? I want to say like 50 million. How many years? Uh, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> like, like 10? Get the f out of no, here. I, really? I hate this question. <laughs> okay, wait. You. Wait, I, I, you, you're I, a little liar. No, I you're actually. You're a little liar. What? I don't know. Can you? You knew. Can you let me explain? I knew the money because I wrote a post on Lindros when he donned the Quebec jersey a couple of years back. I don't know what it was for again, but like he wore the Quebec jersey. It was like no hard feelings. And I included this in my post. That's why I knew the money. The length I just guessed. Luca is the one who wrote the article. Oh. <laughs> Screw you. All right. Moving on to question nine. <laughs> Who was arguably the first hockey player to sign a million dollar a year contract? I think I know this one. Uh, this one's too easy, oh, too. You're gonna fluke your way to I'm 10. I'm not fluking my way nope. into 10. I know this one. I see, it makes me feel like I'm bad at my job when you guys are getting this like this. Like this late in the game, you feel like yeah. you're way harder? Okay. Yes, I wanna <laughs> see stress. I can do that No, for you. whatever, just oh. you Oh, Bobby Hall. Shut up. That, that was worse. Bobby Hall in the WHA. Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, I hear about it all the damn time. We have a Jets fan working with us, if you didn't know. WHA contract, 10 years, $2.75 million, came with a bonus that pretty much paid him a million dollars in his first year. He held that check. It's a cool picture of him holding that check. Okay, you've made it to the final boss. Thanks, Jesse. You're a beaut, bud. Question 10, the final Is boss. Is Sergey Fedorov? Is it what? Fedorov. No, and why would I tell you? Okay, but no, it's not on Sergei Fedorov. Do you know why though? Did you like the... Yes, I researched this. <laughs> I, I didn't end up using it. You're apparently just dying to tell the story now. <laughs> just go ahead. It's amazing. It's, got... a, it's a cool story. Go ahead. Well, he's the highest paid like single year player of all time. 28 million. That's like soccer money. <laughs> 28 million is soccer money, yes. Yeah. Offer sheets never happen anymore, but like this was just so cutthroat where the Canes made an offer sheet where they tried to sign Fedorov to a deal where if they made it to the conference finals, he would get a $12 million bonus. And then because... The Red Wings are kind of good. Yeah, they always made it. So they were like, they're not going to sign that because obviously they're going to make it there and then they're going to have to pay him $12 million. And the Red Wings were just like, just whatever. Yeah, get out of here. Of we, course we'll pay it. Yeah. We don't care. Sergey Fedorov is like the best player in the league at the time. And then they won the cup. <laughs> so good. And then he got 28 mil. That is a double... You. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's two hurricane warning flags for you right there. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you can get question number 10, because this one, it's the final boss. <laughs> 
look to your left, look to your right, look to the center. I'm looking. It's time to fight. <laughs> question number 10, you know how this works. There are multiple things worked into this question, just in case there's a tiebreaker. The more you get, the better your chances are to clinch victory so we don't have to do weird tiebreakers, <laughs> where two people share one mic. <laughs> and one person leaves with it. Okay, here it is, you ready? Yep. Which three players are just behind Di Pietro on the buyout list with seven bought out years currently remaining, and how many years did each player originally sign for? What the f***? <laughs> Holy. Oh my god. So you need three players. And the amount of time they signed for. And the amount of time they signed for. Can I say just names first? Because I don't want to like get a year and then get a the year sure. wrong. Sure. All right, so Le Cavalier. Correct. I feel like one of them is Scott Gomez for some re weird reason. Is that correct? Guess your fluking only lasts for so long. Get the hell out of here. Okay. I didn't get one. Mike Richards. That is incorrect. That's wrong. Oh! You got one. Oh! You got one. Oh, so close. That's good enough, though. <laughs> what? Corwin wins. I mean, like, my reputation around the office, I feel like I should get this one. They always make fun of me for liking numbers and stats, and, uh... Yeah, when I originally made this, I thought that you probably would win this. Because you are that guy. Hey. He does care <laughs> about these numbers. Um, now, usually we do a winner's circle, as everyone knows. Yes. Uh, but also, as uh, a lot of our viewers may know, that we lost a very close friend... And, and colleague recently, uh, Johnny Gale. Now, you guys saw Johnny in the quizzes, um, and you got a chance to see him in some of our other video projects, but uh, he was a, a very dear friend to us, and uh, obviously he'll, he'll be very missed here. And so instead of having a winner's circle this time, we just wanted to dedicate that to Johnny Gale. Johnny, we miss you. We miss you coming in every day saying hello to us, giving us fist bumps all around. He was a lot like what you saw him on camera. He was very nice. Always smiling. The warmest person to everyone he spoke with. He had an incredible work ethic. And just by talking with him for two minutes, you just knew this guy was going to really make it. And we're going to really miss him. John, you were the champ, man. You will always be the champ. You will always be with us here forever. And that belt will always be yours. Johnny, rest in peace. You will forever be remembered, and you will forever be a member of the Bar Down team. John. What's up, D? Do you know why you're here today? Johnny Gale! You yeah. want to help him with this last one? This is a functioning office. I think people don't really realize uh, that. Where are you working on tonight? Hey, Jay and Dan, you know those guys. You're a story editor, right? That's right. You're going to need to be a trivia aficionado here. Doesn't scream sexy to me, and I'm usually about some sexy things, you know. <laughs> John knows his wrestling. If you lose, he's going to pedigree you through your Ford Focus in the parking lot. You can get a pedigree quick if you don't uh, if you do not do what you're supposed to be doing for Barred Down. In New York, like the Rangers, my home away from home, if I could say. The game, the cerebral assassin, my favorite wrestler, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Your trademark laugh. How can I make you, what's, what's gonna make you laugh? I, I think this is gonna get a laugh out of you. He gave Yarmar Yager a run for his money for greatest mullet of all time. That's what he did. <laughs> I'll be the champ for the day. I'll spin this thing like Hollywood Hogan. Or I'll put it on like this, like a true champion. Put it around my waist if it fits, but I am proud to be a bar down champion.